Right, so I'm a big fan of being able to disable the co-pilot feature easily and then re-enable it. So what I'm thinking is it might be nice if I open up the keyboard shortcuts, it might be nice to come in here, look for toggle copilot, to then copy that command, the command ID. And so instead of opening up and having to click the menu here to enable or disable every time I want to toggle it, instead I could come over to Stream Deck and I can set up a new button here to execute a VS Code command, paste in that ID that I just copied. And now if I come back over to VS Code, if I push the button I set up, you can see in the lower right, it toggles to disconnected and push it again, it toggles to connected. So now when I'm in code and I want a suggestion, I can get suggestions or I can hit the button again and turn them off. Hit the button again to turn them on and there you go. And then I like to create some sort of icon that's meaningful. So what I'm thinking is, if I change to the directory with VS Code extensions, if I look through here for Copilot in the name of the files, okay, that's where the extension's at. I could then grep for SVGs or PNGs. And then scanning through the list here, there's a not connected option here that sounds like it might work. Yeah, that's close enough, that's good. So what I could do is change into that directory, open that up, see if I've got one of the files here, and then go over to Stream Deck. All right, and now open up the button I set up, and we'll put, see if I can drop the SVG on. All right, I can. Oh, that's not that great. Let's see if we have, that was blocked, my bad. Nope, let's try blocked instead. Okay, that looks pretty good. I might take that icon and add some padding to it so it doesn't look so ridiculous because it's pretty big, but hey, that works right there. And so now I've got a button set up that allows me over in VS Code to easily toggle between suggestions and not. And yeah, my typical workflow for finding an icon is to try to find some sort of icon that's a part of a given program and then go find the actual file on disk and use that.